The YouTube channel custom layout feature is a very powerful tool. It helps you promote your videos, your playlists, and promote things a hell of a lot better than just the standard layout. Today I'm gonna to tell you what you can do with that custom layout, and more importantly, how to turn it on. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. Now if you're new around here and you're looking to start your YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, click subscribe start creating. Now for all of the time that I've been on YouTube, I like to do some research. I go into the live streams of Nick Nimmin and Brian G. Johnson and Roberto Blake, and many times they do channel reviews. But one of the prerequisites for being as part of their channel review is turning on the custom homepage layout. Now the custom homepage layout is a way to promote your videos better, your playlist better, and generally make your channel look better. And today, we're going to deep dive into how that can affect you and how you can turn it on. But before I get started, I want to know, have you turned on the channel customized layout already? Did you even know it existed? Have you always wondered where those tabs come from? Or do you not really bother? I mean, do you just throw out videos and let them fester? Please leave a comment down below. Now, if you have a look at the front page of my channel, you'll see that I have my channel trailer, I have my channel links, I have my discussions, and on my Mr. Harry Brit channel I even have a community tab. Underneath all of that, I've then laid out my playlist, my videos, things that I want to actively push and publicize. Now, all of this layout is available to any YouTuber, all you have to do is activate it. Now, this is as simple as signing in to your YouTube account. Click on your channel, either the little icon or the my channel thing, and it goes to your front page. When your front page does not have the channel custom layout enabled, it looks something like this. It's pretty much just the latest uploads, or no videos at all. It's, it's very, very hard to market that kind of thing. It has your channel artwork, but there's no way for people to interact with it. Now, next to your little subscribe icon, there is a cog. That cog then gives you many options. One of those options happens to be to turn on the custom layout. Now this opens many doors for you. Immediately, once turned on, you'll see that the tabs appear at the top. These happen to be the, the About Us, or your playlists, or your discussion, or if you're over 10,000 subscribers, you'll have your Community tab. But it also gives you the options to start adding playlists and videos and things like that to your front page. You need to take full advantage of this. Obviously, if you've got, say, 10, 20 videos, you need to get as many of those 10, 20 videos on that front page. Put them in playlists. Set them all up so therefore those playlists, even if there's only three or four videos in that playlist, it, it then fills up that space. Make as much use of that space as possible. The reason for that goes down to the good old days of behavior of people that arrive on websites. This is a website. These are your videos. This is effectively your mini website just for your channel. So what you want to do is make sure that you've got a nice channel trailer at the top, which becomes active once you turn on the, the, the customized layout. If you want to learn how to make a YouTube trailer, I have done a video. There will be a video link up here. Now that trailer is only visible for people who have not subscribed to your channel, but on the custom layout, it will be at the top. Otherwise, it will show your latest videos plus three of your latest videos subject to that subscriber having seen those previously. And then underneath, it can list anything you want. Your uploads, your latest playlists, your collection of videos. You can, you can customize it how you want. You can have playlists of playlists if you want to. Try and theme them as well. So if there's a playlist and it's about YouTube tips, make sure you've got a title, a description of that playlist, and then the the videos in the playlist underneath it, or maybe start promoting some of your own channels. If you've got a couple of other channels or you've got people that you collaborate with, you can add their channel links there as well. Basically, the more you put on that channel homepage, the more that stuff has more chance of being seen. Because if you imagine, if you arrive in a blank room, there's nothing to look at. But if you're walking into an art gallery with a load of art around the room, people are gonna be looking at that art experiencing that art. And that's what your videos happen to be. They're little pieces of art that people need to see. So arrange them, make them stand out. That also means 
that this is a great way to showcase your thumbnail. So make sure that they are eye-catching enough to want to be clicked on. So that's how you turn on the YouTube custom channel page layout in 2018. If you want more tricks and tips, there's a free PDF up here and in the description down below. Subscribe for regular YouTube tricks and tips content. Two videos each and every week. Hit that notification. Go out there, start creating.